All right, good morning, everybody. It is uh, September 10th, 2023, and we are at another auction. This is an estate sale. So it looks like a nice day today. We just went to one yesterday, so if you're watching this, hopefully you watched that video from the day before that I posted. Um, but we'll uh, walk around, take everything in. Looks like they've got some old vehicles and stuff here, which will be pretty cool. Um, and we'll see what uh, kind of stuff we can come home with. Just Henry and I here today. Um, but some pretty neat looking old trucks up here and cars, so uh, let's go check it out. All right, here we are. Let's take a look at uh, this camper I know is for sale and that little electric uh, golf cart there. A couple little Ford tractors, those are pretty neat. Be a fun project. This is cool. A Chevy Deluxe here, four door. It's like a 51 or two, I guess. Not really too in with these, but knowing the, num the years, it's a cool 46 or something Ford with the flathead in it. Runs, that's cool. Look at this thing. Biscayne. Look at the back of that. That is so cool. That'd be a fun project. Look at that. It's got the original seats in there. Sorry about the noise there, that truck is running with the flathead in it, but it's still pretty cool. There we go. That's an oldie. Ladies and gentlemen, Gerald Chestnut. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. The old flathead in there, that's cool. Pretty cool truck. There's an old John Deere B, I guess it is. Model B. There's a uh, baler. Kind of some little discs there that are good for little food plots and stuff, but those are pretty old. Let's go walk along and look at the implements and real quick since there's not a lot of it here and then we'll come come along and look at all the wagons and the household stuff so we'll just take a quick quick look at this some old plows pile of stuff there so we can take a quick look over here. Oh, okay. so yours he was already, he was already working. I don't know if any of that's going to be for sale. We'll just uh, yep. let's cruise this way. There's the bathroom if anybody needs to go. Um, I know we'll look around. Here's a bunch of the wagons, and we'll just let's walk along and look at this household stuff here. Here's a freezer. That's actually a nice looking freezer, and I know somebody that needs one. We might have to bid on that. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, the old fancy, really ornate type. Always like to look in there because my mom always liked sewing machines. She bought lots of them from auctions. Come some old bikes here. There's supposed to be a console stereo here too that we'll have to go look for. Um, there's a bike I'm going to bid on for my brother-in-law. Some old bikes here. 
We gotta get this for mom. It's got speeds. A couple bikes there. You need a bike, Henry? <laughs> what kind is that? Uh, spirit. A spirit. Free spirit. That's not a bad bike there. Or this, Henry, for mom, actually. That's the one that put, oh. It's a little small, though. I think she's like the other one. Oh, maybe. Some tools. Oh, yeah. That'd be about the right size. We'll see what that goes for here. Old chairs. Air compressor. Radial arm saw. Old table saws. Now here's a rototiller. There's one. There's what you need right there. That's a beast. <laughs> Some old bikes. We'll just come along really quickly along this stuff. Some batteries and motors. Take a quick look over here. I bet that's the, well, this is probably the end of it down here, I would think. There's some stuff in here, it looks like. Okay, here we go. This is, this is more the stuff that I might be interested in here. Not so much that. Um, I don't see, okay, here's the stereo. This is what I was looking for. Magnavox, I'm guessing this thing probably isn't in very good working condition. there old sink all right all right let's take a look here's an old f100 here and he was just talking about looks like a 67 68 69 in there that grill, I guess. Stick shift. Pretty, pretty rotted out, unfortunately. Oh yeah, full of the garbage. 2011 it was licensed last. All right, let's go back. There's some household stuff to look at, and there's all the wagons of stuff. Let's go check that out few things here I think I I could bid on stuff that's maybe easy to load up and maybe a couple of those bikes we'll see how fast this stuff goes I have a feeling this is going to be a long one today unless they split into two because they always start with the they always start with the wagons here and go get rid of the small stuff and then they move on to the bigger um, nothing really here okay let's look at the let's look at the small stuff here I do see a chainsaw so we'll pop, pop that box open and take a look We'll make a full circle and go around so you can kind of see all the small stuff here. Some wrenches. Let's see, here's a not a bad looking saw. Yeah, that's a good saw there. Made in Germany. Looks like it has some leakage. Yeah, those 
pretty typical for the bar oil to leak out of those, but that's not a bad saw there. We might have to, might have to, might have to go in on that. Oh yeah, whole row of them there. Sears, looks like some little home lights or craftsmen's. Those little ones aren't really typically the thing I'm interested in, but let's see here. Let me try to zoom back all the way. Yeah, some silverware. glassware stuff, jars, some old mixing bowls, old mixers, those are neat. Typewriter, cool old 70s glasses. box there. Lots of old toys. Old Tonkas. It's kind of neat. Yeah, that's a neat old. That's an oldie there. Yeah, everything is. Lincoln Log. This kind of neat old Tonka too with the little winches on there. Cranes. My mom had one like this, similar, not exactly, but old train stuff. What do we got here? An old radio. Or RCA. It's like a record player. Yeah, a little old record player there. Another typewriter. Some cameras here. What do we got? Anything worth anything? I don't know much about these, but. camera here guys yeah we might have to bid on this box here for a friend of mine yeah some neat stuff in there some lenses and stuff let's see if that what that goes for all right old books and stuff I need to get a number. I like that little, this is kind of nice. I'd like to have that little thing. That could be pretty handy. There's an anvil. Those usually get pretty good money, so. All right, I think that's gonna be it here. We will pick up um, either part way through the auction or at the end of it, and we'll follow up and see if we picked anything up and what we got. All right, stay tuned. All right. We are back from the auction today. And as you can see, I got a little bike. Bought a few things here. Um, bought some old pitchers for a few bucks. So those are kind of neat. Um, I bought a come along for 15. 
I got this saw for 40 made in Germany. So uh, I think it's a decent saw. I did get it running here real quick. I think I need to go through the carburetor. It's starving for fuel. It had really old gas in it. it smelled terrible. So I think it just sat for a long time. Really low hours uh, unit though. Uh, so we'll get that running here this week and we'll get that for sale. Uh, I did buy a chest freezer too for a friend of mine. I got that for 85 bucks. And so he paid me back for that. We delivered it already, but picked up this bike pretty cheap. Maybe for my wife, I don't know. We'll see old Huffy. Maybe just put a little work into it and get it running for her. But that's it for today. Uh, so a couple chainsaws this weekend at two different auctions and we'll get them cleaned up and get them for sale. But that's it. Thanks for watching.